So when you look at the liturgical year and, and these two feast days this weekend and next weekend come at the end of the Lent and Easter cycle, almost every day of the church year, the worship year, is spoken for. There's a feast day, there's an event, there's a dedication of a building, a feast day of Jesus and Mary. So in our own case, you know, we're, we're an event, uh, we're named after an event, a presentation. And the, the joyful mysteries that, that we're part of, the joyful mysteries of the rosary, and you can see them on our stained glass windows around the church, and they represent uh, five parishes that are um, in this little area of Bergen County. Uh, the, uh, in Paramus, the uh, Annunciation and the Visitation events, the Nativity in Midland Park, uh, the presentation of Jesus in the temple here in Upper Saddle River. And we, we don't have a uh, finding the lost child Jesus in the temple, but we call that Mother of the Church, you know, in, in Woodcliffe Lake. And actually their feast day will be tomorrow morning. Um, uh, I'm sorry, it was last Monday, uh, June 1st. Um, so clearly a, a, a powerful, their events and their titles, some of the titles of Mary, Our Lady uh, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of Mercy, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, uh, titles for Jesus, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, uh, the Christ the King, uh, a lot of stories, um, uh, saints' names. Uh, we've got uh, St. Catherine's, we've got St. Paul's and Ramsey, uh, we've got uh, St. Augustine's up in Nanuet. Uh, we've got uh, uh, St. Luke's in Hohokus. We've, uh, we've got angels. You know, we've got Guardian Angel in Allendale and St. Gabe's in Saddle River across town. So a lot of events. When you search through the calendar year, there's only one feast day devoted just to God himself or herself. And that, that day's today you know, the feast of the Trinity, period, the feast of God. And sometimes we maybe take that for, for granted or forget a little bit about it. I was reading this week in America magazine, which is the Jesuit magazine. It comes out every two weeks and it's one of the better religious journals and it's published by the, the Jesuits in the, in the US. It comes out of Manhattan and they ask their readers what they often take for granted or what they're surprised about missing with the churches being closed right now. And, and it was interesting to hear. And a lot of them said we took it to granted. I, I miss coming into church right before mass. I miss the cool scented air, the quiet, the color streaming in from the windows, the smiles of friends. They say, uh, I miss it, for, uh, the few minutes of changing from world time to God time a feeling my muscles relax, my breath slow down, and my mind open to Jesus. What do I miss? Almost everything that I took for granted. Daily Mass after I drop my daughter off and occasionally can sneak into Daily Mass. Lighting the candles for the sick, hearing a favorite hymn, seeing a 99-year-old man with a cane genuflecting until his right knee hits the floor, and seeing him painfully try to get up, I miss the sign of peace. I miss being part of a 2,000 year tradition, the communion wafer. I miss criticizing in my head the dude who leaves after communion and then feeling like a jerk because I don't know his story. I miss walking into the church when I'm anxious or scared. I always feel Christ's presence in this sacred space and I have been missing that. I miss community. I miss being together not only with my friends, but also with those I know only by sight or recognize where they sit in the church. I miss the music. I miss trying to find the seat. I miss the crying babies. I miss great homilies and some unexciting homilies. I miss the mass and the Eucharist. I miss the quiet, although that, that had to be somebody who doesn't come to presentation, I'm sure. Having Sunday might be a different experience than other, any other day, and it always has been, and that's disrupted the way that we, we set that day aside, and I miss that terribly. I miss watching the altar servers struggle as they try to, try to light the candles or try to wobble down the center aisle with the big processional cross. It's good to be reminded of what we miss 
as we isolate and we take for granted. Um, clearly, the, we, we celebrate the Trinity today and we celebrate the existence of the Trinity and what that means to us. Um, creator, Savior, Redeemer, Spirit of Consolation, Compassion, Empowerment. God is literally all things for all people. No one and nothing would be here without God. And that's what we celebrate today. So we celebrate the existence of the Trinity, but even more important as far as we're concerned, God chooses to have a relationship with us. God bless.